So you want to give a little bit of kind of a, you know, your history in the adult industry? Oof. 25 years. I started 1999. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Been a minute. Been a minute. <laughs> um, it's funny, too, because when I started, I did not think that this was a career. Really? Yeah. I I just, I had a three-year-old daughter, and I thought, um, this is a great job. I can be the mom and the dad. It's mm-hmm. fantastic. It was a godsend to me, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, but I never thought that this would last and and I never thought that I was famous it never occurred to me uh-huh. until the the first time I went to an AVN and walked the red carpet I was nominated for best new starlet and I'm like holy shit there are there's a lot of people here yeah. <laughs> there's a whole red carpet yeah. there's a whole aisle to walk down Back then, it used to be at the Sands. Yeah, I remember that when oh it was part God, of CES. Oh, my God, it was amazing, yeah. And we would walk through the Venetian uh, casino to go down that one hallway all yeah. the way down to the Sands. And um, everybody in the casino would stop when we would be walking through. I'm not surprised. <laughs> that- because, of course, we would walk through, like, in mass, right? Yeah, yeah. It'd be a, a, yeah. a procession. Yeah, it was huge. So, um It was fun. It was exciting. But even then, it just didn't occur to me that I'm, I'm famous, and these people are looking at me because they know me. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a bit of a of a knock on the head. You're like, wait, what? (laughs) Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so was it something that when you started, like you just again, you just thought it was just something you were going to do for a little bit, and then you'd move on to something else? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I did. I was really just flying by the seat of my pants and um, having fun. Okay. You know, like I said, I had a daughter, mm-hmm. and um, it was the first time I had a job that I could not need help. I, I was fully independent, mm-hmm. you know, and I could take care of her. So that was fantastic. It just never occurred to me that I was creating a career. Yeah. You know? And I think had I had I thought that back then, I definitely would have done some things differently. Sure. You know, for the longevity of it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you're here 25 years later, so lo- you're, you're, lo- the longevity is still is you're pretty good with. <laughs> but, it's yeah. funny, too. Back then, people used to say men can be in it their entire lives, but women have a lifespan. And I I very much disagree with that. Oh, no. It, well, I mean, especially now. I mean, you – because and I've, and I've <clears> talked <throat> about this with multiple guests because I've had multiple, you know, MILF category performers – but just because you start when because you started in ninety nine when American Pie came out and I and I I keep I feel bad that I keep mentioning you know the Stifler mom thing, <laughs> but but again it really did kind of open this this at you know this kind of floodgate yep. of of the you know wi- you know women of a more mature age being and I mean that's not when you started but how eventually. There is longevity. Yeah. Oh, no, a thousand percent. It. Like you, you start as a thousand percent. What people fail to realize is yes, men get tired of seeing the same girl, but people also get attached. No, they do. Well, it's like any 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 actor, any performer that you love. I mean, yep. people still love to go see Tom Cruise or Brad Pitt percent. and stuff. Thousand even if they're percent. in their sixties now. Mm-hmm. Yep. And and I'm sure with you, I mean, because uh, you know, you've just, I think, probably just gotten more popular as, a, a, you know, in terms of, well, again, because you, I feel like there's a certain, because again, they people like with actors and stuff like that, I think form certain, uh, maybe just, again, as you said, attachments. I and, think trends have changed too. So, you know, when I was growing up, um, Pamela Anderson was the, the body shape mm-hmm. that was in and all the, the big famous models, uh, not porn models, but you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah. models of our time, like Cindy Crawford and yeah, Linda, they were Linda Evangelista. skinny, had no butt. You know, that was just and 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 I suppose in fashion that's still the way because they want the clothes to They're hang. mannequins. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're walking mannequins. A hanger. Yeah, a hanger for the clothes. Yeah. Um, but at least in our neck of the woods, things have changed so that my body style came very, became very popular, Mm -hmm. you know? So I'm very fortunate in that way. And I think to that point, uh, my popularity grew simply because the trends changed. 
well, and that's and you know, it's just a right time <laughs> thing because again, yeah. as as you because as it seems like as you started probably grad when did you start graduating to like or did you kind of always start in like those kind of milf type roles or did you start and then it just like over time that started to happen. I think they always because I was twenty eight when I started, mm -hmm. so I think they always kind of put me into. Milfy, um, a more yeah. Stuff, well, I guess know? it also comes down maybe to, to your look. Yeah. Like if if you have a very you know mature kind of look, because I was still like I didn't I wasn't all tattooed up. I did have a hip tattoo, mm -hmm. um, and I think I looked young enough that I could blend into other things. So when when you have a solid performer who shows up mm -hmm. <laughs> and shows yeah. up on time, yeah. and doesn't flake on you. Um, I got a lot of roles. I mean, there were times back in the day that I was working three or four scenes a day. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's rich. It's nuts. That's that's a marathon. Anal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Multiple anal or just just one? Um, like no, that? just one. I've okay. never done two uh two in the boutique, but oh. um or, well, I mean in like scenes, like multiple yeah. anal scenes in a day. Multiple anal scenes in a go. day. There you go. I guess yeah. if you prep, you know, you got to use it when you if got it. If you're clean and you yeah. haven't eaten. Yeah, hey. yeah right? <laughs> <laughs> Make like, hay while the sun shines. Your mindset during the scene is, man, I really got to hit in and out when this is all done because I'm starving. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Well, it's like it's like bodybuilders because they cut and they and they yep. prep before they perform yep. or before they percent. do stuff. And it wouldn't be that I set out to do that many scenes in the day. It would be, you know, this director said, "Hey, oh my God, this girl didn't show up." And you know mm -hmm. we can shift some scenes around. Can you get here? And I'm like, well, I'm on a I'm on a set right now, but I'll be there. And you know, as soon as I'm done. Oh, yeah. okay, thank you, thank you. Yeah, you know.